It was Nelson Mandela who once said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Each day of school is an opportunity for a student to explore, to learn and dream of a better future for them. Students represent dreams and the future. My name is George Mathenge Wadaya. My name is Mutai John. My name is Eunice Karimi. My name is Shazmin Imtiaz. Akim Majok Barque is my name. As students become educated, they not only change their own lives, but transform their families and communities as well. In supporting needy students, you indeed breathe life into their future. Breathe Life into the Future is an initiative of the Kenya Methodist University Alumni Association. This initiative seeks to establish a viable stream of funds for scholarship for needy students and mutually beneficial academic-oriented initiatives through the university. You have done what every good citizen, and particularly every Christian, should do. You have seen beyond the immediate needs and satisfaction of yourselves. You have proposed on a serious note to set up a Kemo Arumini Scholarship Fund to support intelligent students. It is a joy to have Kemo Alumni Association engage with us because the number of students we have in this university that are in need and most of those who come from marginalized areas whereby they are not able to pursue their studies to completion simply because of financial constraints. The coming in of Kemu alumni to us is a joy and we believe that together we can make a difference in the lives of these students because we believe that transforming one life of a student is transforming our counties, our societies and our nation as a whole. And therefore it is my joy to see the Kemu alumni take this lead to ensure that our students do not lag behind or they do not stop from studying because of financial needs. My name is Joseph Obanda. I am currently the deputy chairman of Kenya Methodist Alumni Association. I'm also the chairman of the Kemu Alumni Association Endowment Fund, which we are so honored to be able to host and to establish for the sake of helping the Kemu students who currently may be going through financial challenges and uh, constraints in completing their education. The pursuit of education for some of these students has not been a walk in the park but a long and difficult journey they have had to walk. Meet George Mathenge, a third-year student pursuing a degree in community health. Having done a diploma in community health, and uh, I managed to, to, to do some volunteers in uh, organizations, and I realized that I needed some more skills so that I can be able to serve my community better. I looked and I searched for an institution that is going to offer the course. And so I came across Kemu, which was collaborating with AMREF, and I joined Kemu. And uh, I knew that it was very challenging for me because of the school fees that was, that was, that was being charged. And uh, having coming, uh, coming from a single mother family, that's, uh, my mom is single, and she, the, the work that she does, mostly she is supporting my brother here and there, and also some few expenses back at home and uh, she is a cook in a certain high school. So also sometimes it's also challenging for her to send me money each and every moment. But out of talking with some few friends here and there, some well-wishers, some of them managed to help me raise my, 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 my first installment for school, and I was determined to join. 
the thing that was not assured is the accommodation and transport. So I had to, to secure some few cash here and there and I bought myself a bicycle which I use today. And sometimes it was also very challenging to use a bicycle, especially in the Kenyan roads. Uh, mostly because most of the roads that we have today, they don't have lanes whereby bicycles can be able to use or a cyclist. Myself, I've had even to give some people first aid on the road. Having found a person who've been hit by a, by a, by a, a vehicle, and you have to offer some first aid and, and, and also knowing in mind that you never know whether you can be the next in the, in the, in the you can be next, maybe in the next day or something of the sort. Sometimes it, it, it rains and you are rained on with your books, but you are just determined and you you know that this one will not continue forever so you just trust God that one day you will be able to manage and complete your course. It is not only George who faces such challenges but Shazmin too and many more. When I completed my high school I wanted to join university but due to some of the challenges of fees and I had a sister who is, was in school it has, it's been a challenge and it's been hectic. There's always a court that keeps me going if you always have a chance to help someone, gladly do help someone. Maybe God is trying to answer that person's prayer through you. So if you can help someone, why not? Just help that person. It's better to be a giver than a taker. Karimi has had her own share of challenges. Though very diligent in pursuing a bright future through education, Karimi faces great challenges in this long journey to her dream. I come from a family of 10. I'm supposed to to be graduating this year, which is uh, July 2015. But because I had not cleared for the previous semester, I was forced, I was forced to defer the semester so that I could at least um, um, accumulate some amount of money to be able to clear for the previous semester. With a sick and financially challenged parent, Mutai too needs a breath of hope for his future. Uh, it's been my privilege to be in this university because it has boosted me despite the fact that I've been facing financial problems. I come from a family of seven, a humble, a humble background. My dad has a, is fighting a diabetes, which is so expensive to him since he's a small-scale farmer. And... Uh, he struggles a lot to get money and to maintain himself since uh, diabetes is a very expensive disease to maintain, especially when somebody is struggling, he doesn't have a permanent source of income. International students too realize the power of higher education for their contribution into their nation's future. Meet Hakim Majok Barkoué, who hails from the newest republic in Africa, the Republic of South Sudan. Since I finished my O and A level in Uganda, I found out that East African system of education is very strong compared to uh, South Sudan curriculum. I'm married, blessed with uh, three kids. Now I left my family in Juba. They are there. Since the life is hard in Nairobi, I can't afford my family in Nairobi and the education and the struggle I'm facing here with my school fees is very hard. So now, I live with the fourth premistress by 2016, April. I hope I will be done with my course, which is degree in procurement and supply management. But due to lack of school fees, I don't think whether I will finish it. It is only God who knows. In the words of the celebrated Oscar Award winner Lupita Nyong'o, these students' dreams are valid. And with my help and your help, we can breathe life into their future. We all indeed can do something to change their destinies. Susan only knows too well the plight of these needy students. The challenges come in when, for instance, a student is in second year, then the sponsors die, or they get retrenched, or they get chronic ill, and then these students get challenges of fees. The others also, there are some sponsors who promise these students that they will hold them until the last, the, the program is over. But somehow half with the course, they decide to withdraw. In line with the university's mission to contribute to the transformation of our society, 
by providing high-quality education that promotes excellence in scholarship, research and selfless service to the community, Breathe Life into the Future is a timely scholarship initiative by Kemu Alumni Association. But wait a minute, how did this great idea come about? And in the last six years, I've seen so many needy students in Kenya Methodist University, students joining in the university and at some point dropping out of the university because they're not able to take care of their fees. This went a long way because I've also been a victim of having to drop out of school or defer a semester because of lack of school fees. How will the Kemu Alumni Association be able to sustain this scholarship program? We as the Alumni Association decided to come up with a solution for the students who are dropping out of school. Hence we uh, planned to start an endowment fund because it's going to sustain itself instead of a scholarship fund. The scholarship fund is a one-time thing and when we give out the funds, that's it. But with an endowment fund, we'll be able to be giving out uh, scholarships to students who are needy throughout, whereby we don't intend to have this fund die. We are excited as alumni members to support uh, students who are needy out there. And we're also um, willing to support the university and we also want to support the functions or the developments in the university. Are you out there an alumni of Kemu or wish to breathe life into the future of a needy student? You could also be a student of Kemu. During my tenure with them, I've interacted with the alumni members and I've seen what they have a energy of giving. I would also encourage my fellow student to give if you have a heart and maybe you assist someone to complete their course and have a very bright future. You too can breathe into the future of your needy classmate. What role can you play? We are so very glad to say that uh, Kemua is launching a fund that will go a long hand in helping students in all regions in our nation. And therefore I just want to ask all those out there who've graduated from Kenya Methodist University to join hands in this good endeavor that Kemua is forging forth to bring forth the fund that will help uh, many needy students to go through the system and to go through their education to breathe actually into their, their future. We welcome our alumni, friends and well-wishers to the launch of Kemua Endowment Fund on Friday the 27th of March from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the KICC. To breathe life into the future of a needy student, please send your donations via M-Pesa. Buy goods, till number 348869. Or write a check to Kemua Endowment Fund. For more information, call us on 0721-612-745. I am Reverend Professor Peter Maghetto, Acting Vice Chancellor of Kenya Methodist University. I believe in breathing life into the future. I believe in the Kemu Alumni Endowment Fund. My name is Joseph Obwanda. I am the chairman Kemu Alumni Endowment Fund. I believe in breathing life into the future. I believe in Kemu Alumni Endowment Fund. I am Caroline Kawela. I am the alumni coordinator. I believe in breathing life into the future. I believe in Kemu Alumni Endowment Fund. Thank you.